is Inside Heavy, where we're talking heavy music. Haste today is set to release their sixth studio album entitled Attack of the Wolf King on Solid State Records. Haste today has had nearly an entire band lineup change, and the sound is phenomenal. We've got the lead singer, Stephen Keach, calling in from the road to give us the full details of the new album. So don't move a muscle. We're coming right back with Stephen Keach from Haste the Day. Are you a fan of heavy music but hate high prices? Then go to the Inside Heavy Metal Shop for the best prices on the internet. We have every heavy and hard rock band under the sky. If they're not in our shop, they're not worth a damn. It's the Inside Heavy Metal Shop powered by Amazon.com. Back with Stephen Keach from Haste the Day, right here on Inside Heavy, the world's inside source to heavy metal. We're joined on the phone by lead singer of Haste the Day, Stephen Keach. Stephen, welcome back to Inside Heavy. It's a pleasure having you with us. It's a pleasure to be here. Stephen, sounds like you're on the road. Yes, I'm actually uh, in a van right now with a pillow over my face. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, you're head, you're in Texas, I think, in, in the sweltering heat. you got the air conditioning on, hopefully. Yes, I've got it blasting on me right now. <laughs> Fantastic. You guys got another Mastercraft uh, release out there, Attack of the Wolf King. Tell us about what's what's up with the, with the CD. It sounds fantastic uh, on this end. Thanks. Uh, well, it's called Attack of the Wolf King, and uh, we're all really excited about it. We... Uh, it's the first time we've uh, been able to like put so so much intense work into the guitar parts and and make it as technical as we possibly could. Well, yeah, um, so yeah, we're all really excited about the record. Fantastic, produced by Andreas Magnuson. He's yeah. very, very well known. How is it working with him? We love working with Andreas. He's like. Uh, just a good friend and uh, just very knowledgeable mm-hmm. and uh, just really fun to be around. And he's got a lot of really great ideas and, and uh, definitely makes his record sound amazing. Right. How do you think that the CD turned out from your perspective? You're the, you're the creator. Your creator is always harder on himself than the listener. I think it sounds great. How do you think it turned out? Well, thanks. Yeah, we, uh, we're really stoked on how it turned out. It, uh, it was definitely very. It was a very grueling process making this record uh, in every aspect. It was. Uh, it was just very difficult. Um, like, because we just wanted it. We had high hopes for how it was going to sound, and and uh, it's the first time we really. Um, it was the first time we really had an opinion on everything, from the artwork to uh, the mastering to. Uh, guitar tone to bass tone to drum sound to everything um, and so with all those high hopes that we had it came out just exactly the way we wanted it to maybe a little better so um, so we're really stoked fantastic all the same members from the last album on this one as well um, no we actually have the only the only members in the band still uh, from Dreamer are Mike and myself. Uh, the drums are different, and the guitars are different, and yeah, drums and guitars. So that had to have affected the sound dramatically. Yeah, it definitely it changed the sound a little bit, um, but for the like for the better, we think, because mm-hmm. uh, it really gave us an opportunity to uh, focus more on more uh, technical parts and. Uh, and just making it like as musically together as we've ever been. Right. Now you've been in. How long have you been in Haystack? You wasn't one of the originators, if I remember right. Correct. No, I I joined the band about five years ago. Okay, so you've been doing a this less than five years ago. You've been doing this a while now, and you've done you've been in the studios and recorded several things, uh, albums with Haste the Day, and been on the road a lot. What what what, um, what about this uh, gets easier, and what gets harder for you? Um, 
Well, it's always just going to, this lifestyle kind of keeps you on your toes, and, and uh, you know, touring is still a blast and and, uh, and everything like that, but it definitely gets uh, pretty grueling being away from home all the time, and, and uh, you see a, uh, I guess you see relationships get harder, mm-hmm. like with friends and and things like that, and you you start realizing exactly who your who your like good friends are and, and everything like that. Because when you leave um, for so long, people just kind of move on with their lives, and uh, you're just kind of living in the van and living with the people that you're in, on tour with. So, but then you find out who your who your real friends are and 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 uh, who your family is and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty cool in that aspect. Sure. Now, in the studio, as far as you know, recording and 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 doing your doing what you do in the studio, anything get easier or harder in the studio for you? Um, a, a little easier when it comes to actually recording this stuff because it's like you know exactly what to expect. You know mm-hmm. uh, how you're going to break everything up. You know uh, what you need to do to get the best sound in the studio because it's definitely different than live. But the one thing that's been steady in this band, which is strange since I joined the band, but one thing that's been steady in this band when it comes to the studio is that uh, then we've had different members almost every time we go into the studio, so it's like the change is uh, uh, is pretty standard for us, so we're pretty used to it now, if that makes sense. So every time the studio is different, and and uh, everybody like kind of finds out their, their new role um, when it comes to writing and and uh, um, decisions and stuff like that.